Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, we thank you that you are the holy God, the only one true holy God who reigns supreme over all things, whose, whose ways are beyond searching out, whose plans and purposes never fail. And you are the God who has called us into a living relationship with you. You have had mercy on us. You have given your son for us so that we can call you Father. Father, you are worthy of our worship. May we worship you in spirit and in truth. And may you be pleased to bless our worship, that we might be built up in you, that we might glorify you, and that we might enjoy you better together. We pray this, Father, in Jesus' name. Amen. Well, we're going to continue our time of worship by hearing God call us to confess our sins before him. And here we continue in Psalm 95, picking up with verse 7. Today, if you hear his voice, do not harden your hearts as on the day at Massa, sorry, as at Meribah, as at the day at Massa in the wilderness, when your fathers put me to the test and put me to the proof, though they had seen my work. For forty years I loathed that generation and said, They are a people who go astray in their hearts, and they have not known my ways. Therefore I swore in my wrath, they shall not enter my rest. Let's pray together. Heavenly Father, you call us to not harden our hearts. And yet so often that's exactly what we do. When we hear your word, when we sense your spirit calling us to worship you, when we are confronted by our sin, we so often are tempted to harden our hearts, to push you away, to retreat further into ourselves, to go our own way, to do our own thing, because we feel like we're just independent and we can do what we want. But Father, this is a lie, and it's poisonous to our soul, it's offensive to your glory, it's contrary to the gospel, it, it, it's counterproductive to our spiritual growth, it is wrong in every way. So, Father, help us not to harden our hearts. Give us grace by your Holy Spirit to soften our hearts, to respond to your word with faith and obedience, to respond to your call with worship and prayer, repentance, trust, love. For you have done everything for us. You have paid the price for our salvation. You have brought us life in Christ Jesus, your Son. You have made us your own. And we are eternally grateful. In Jesus' name, amen. We're going to respond now by singing our assurance and thanksgiving together by singing Amazing Grace. <laughs> 